Wednesday night bingo at Fun Spot in Laconia. A busload of veterans is in the house. And so is Amanda Ledoux, Miss Lake Winnipesaukee 2017. Her job tonight, doling out the dollars to the lucky winners. I go to, uh, let's see, fairs and parades and uh, pumpkin fests, and it's all part of this really difficult job. Ledoux won the crown, the sash, and cash. Serial number 5K63084. Which she's using to pay off college loans. And while the money is great, she says an unexpected benefit has been learning how important history and tradition are to the Lake region. I am the 93rd Miss Winnipesaukee. I believe it is the oldest pageant in the country, and all the history that comes with that is a little overwhelming, but I'm flattered to have the title. Elsewhere at Fun Spot, what's billed as the largest arcade in the world. And within the arcade, the American Classic Arcade Museum. President Gary Vincent pitched the museum concept in the late 90s, having worked at Fun Spot since his college days. In the fall of 1998, I was at a meeting with the owner of Fun Spot, Bob Lawton, and I brought up the idea to him of starting an arcade museum because I didn't see where the history was being preserved in a place where people could readily access it. Vincent has managed to collect some 450 classic games from the 70s and 80s, about half of which are on the floor, all working thanks to a skilled team of techies. We have a, a variety of Pac-Man machines, Pac-Man Junior Pac-Man, Pac-Man Plus, Pac-Mania, Professor Pac-Man, but then uh, Miss Pac-Man was extremely popular. Mario Brothers, very popular and the character of Mario when he first was in Donkey Kong, they just referred to him as Jumpman. And then later on when they did Mario Brothers, they named him Mario and his brother Luigi. And then, of course, the whole Mario franchise took off. Playboy, Load Runner, Moon Patrol, Ghostbusters. It's a nerd's paradise. Among the oldest games, the 1971 Computer Space and one of the rarest games, the vintage 1976 Death Race. Very controversial at the time because you basically were driving over what looked like people. They said, no, they're not people, they're zombies. There was actually a segment on 60 Minutes about the violence in video games. One of their feature games was Death Race. And a lot of uh, arcades at the time pulled the Death Race machines out and destroyed them. Vincent says what most impresses him about the old games, they're easy to learn, but difficult to master. And he says no matter how flashy the latest games become, these arcade heirlooms will always have a following. It amazes me when I see how far people will travel to come here to play this collection of games. And so I'm always humbled and amazed that this brings people in literally from around the world. In Wolfboro, two other museums, the Wright Museum of World War II, and up the road, the New Hampshire Boat Museum, which houses dozens of wooden racing and luxury boats. Museum trustee, Rick Corian. The wooden boats have a big history on this lake, and they were just no one that was gonna preserve that, uh, that culture or that way of life, and they got together and they were gonna have a place to show wooden boats. The jewel of the collection, this 1929 mahogany passenger boat, worth about three quarters of a million dollars because not only is it rare, it's in pristine condition. This is a Chris Craft and referred to as a limousine boat. The New Hampshire Boat Museum sponsors a number of programs, from sailing lessons to boat building lessons and a vintage race boat regatta, all in an effort to keep the love of these old wooden boats alive. It's a preserving a way of life that was here. There's a lot of people very passionate about it. And the Boat Museum recently hit the halfway mark of a $5.5 million fundraising mm. effort to build a new museum. Good for them. And if you're interested in more about that World War II museum we mentioned, and I know you are. Yes. Um, we're going to have a much more in-depth look at that as part of a tank away that airs next week. And Amanda Ledoux, no longer 
Miss Winnipesaukee, but don't cry for her. She is now Miss Greater Dairy. Well, you go, girl. All right, congratulations. <laughs> she finds the line between art and glitz.